Welcome to another episode of Drinking with Craig and Roger. I'm Roger. I'm Craig. And what have you brought? Today we have this Redwood Empire Emerald Giant Rye Whiskey. It has a pretty awesome label, I must say. Yes, it does. And this is interesting in that it is bottled in Sonoma County, California. But the Redwood Empire Company sources their whiskey from MGP. MGP, right. So it should taste a little different because it's aged at least three years in California, which mm. should impart a little bit yeah. of the ambiance of the, the territory to it. Now, there are some other little things about this that are kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, it says it's inspired by a true gentleman, John Muir, who was called the father of our national parks because he was interested in trees and he planted a number of them, not unlike uh, Johnny Appleseed. Mm. And the Emerald Giant is a tree. It's a redwood uh, in California that's over 360 feet tall and over 1,100 years old. Amazing. So that's the namesake of this. Uh, and uh, You're so saying it has a lot to live up to. It has a, a really tall yeah. model to, to try and match. Tall order, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I think that's that's about all I can say right now. Obviously, um, they they chose uh, the barrels of rye uh, very carefully mm -hmm. from MGP, yep. and oh. and they. Um, uh, probably uh, use barrels of, of different uh, mash bills. But remember, if it's a straight rye, it has to be at least 51%. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. So, do you have anything else you know about this? I just want to taste it. All right, well, I think that's the order of business here. I've heard good things about them, but mostly about, I can't remember the name of it. There's one in particular that a lot of people seem to like, uh, so I haven't heard a lot about the other at least two that I know of, this being one of those two. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, this was the only one from uh, from them on the shelf, so that's why I got this one, rather than having to choose between three. <laughs> and I know these guys uh, got a little bit of attention from me, at least, because they are at pretty good price points. Uh, do you remember how much you paid for this? Uh, I don't remember exactly because I bought this before we had the virus thing and so mm. it's been sitting around for like four or five months. But oh, yeah. but um, it's generally available somewhere between $35 to $45. That's about what I thought, is, yeah. You know, it's okay. Hmm. Well, I do smell rye on it. Yep, there's the rye. Very clean smell. Yeah, I was going to say it's not a, not a huge nose. Um, to it, but it's certainly not harsh in any way. Uh, so let's see if I can pick up anything besides the rye. I like that stuff. I just, I just, uh, it's just the, it's the smell the spiciness of the rye. Yeah, it is a spicy, and uh, yeah, I'm getting like just a slightly burning nose. No, that's that's to be expected. Uh, you know, I'm trying to pull through that. Is this, uh, I forgot to say how. It's um, a little bit of vanilla notes, maybe. It's about 90 proof, I believe. Can I read that? Yes, 90 proof. 40, okay. 45, yeah. That's the small letters these days, uh, as I've been 39 long enough, that those small letters are hard to read, you know, so what can I yeah. say? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so shall we uh, uh, try to taste it? Yeah. yeah, here. Cheers. taste anything like it smells. Well, at the last little sniff, I tasted a little bit of the husk of the, the rye on it. Mm -hmm. So I did, the more I sniffed on it, the, oh, yeah. the, the more I could I could smell into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's uh, wow, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Okay, so it's very rich. And at, not, at 90 proof, it doesn't have that heavy a body. Um, 
you know, it's it's not it's not real viscous. No. Um, mm. uh, but uh, it's strange. I get just a, a hint of like that vanilla frosting. I'd go. I'd, mm. I'll get with a, an, an occasional bourbon. Um, yeah, well, very I, rich flavor. That's all. No, they they don't really oh, say oh. this, but uh, probably it's been aged in charred oak barrels, or at least some of it's been aged in charred oak barrels. Yeah. Did they say that? It could be. I'm, uh, it's, uh, this is more fruity than a lot of others that I've had. Mm. It has kind of like a rich fruity flavor. Um, what kind of fruits? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say whether it's charred oak barrels or not, but I'm going to guess it is. It definitely has the rye um, spice to it. Um, but it's not, it, this has to be uh, lower on that rye um, percentage, on that spectrum of rye. Yeah, so um, I just died. This definitely is, not a, a, a high rye rye. No, it's, but it's, it's not 95%. This is rye. nice. Um, trying to pick up, I'm, I'm getting like a lot of distinct fruitiness and um, kind of baked something or other in there. Yeah, like um, baked apples, pears, that kind of thing. Fruit. Really, a, a kind of like a bright yet rich flavor to me. What do you think? Oh, I'll agree with that. I'm, I'm, I'm tasting something else in here. Uh, it, of course, the more you, you, you taste it, you know, the, the more you can taste in it. All right. That's why someone says, uh, heard, said that you really ought to you drink a whole bottle of something over a period of a week to get a, a good feel for what the whiskey is like. Of course, they were talking about a single malt. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're going to do it with just, just a little bit here. Same shit old true for mm -hmm. any whiskey, I would think. Mm, I'm liking this. I think I think it's a very nice thing. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's some grain in it. I can feel, I can taste the husk. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, at the, it's towards the end of it, but it's uh, finished, but taste that but it's a sort of a, a nice combination of you know, all sorts of spicy and uh, fruity type things. Mm -hmm. and yeah it's hard for to, sure. Hard to pick them up. I'm, I'm, it's just uh, tasting more pleasantly fruity than uh, most rides that I've had. And it's 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 yeah yeah it is a lighter taste but it's very got very good character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it is surprisingly smooth for being you know it not is. more than three three years old oh it is yeah it is i'm not i'm not i'm not picking up on that raw you know alcohol uh, roughness and just the rye spiciness so that's good so we're good i actually didn't even notice the rye spiciness at first it took uh, i had to like really look for it and, you it's, know it's, to, yeah, it's, it's a little milder than, than some so they, and it has a strain of sweetness to it also so. Maybe we're, we're we're tasting a little bit of the like, grape uh, vines that are growing there in Sonoma. I was, <laughs> well, <laughs> it, you know, I was tempted to say I'm, I'm getting kind of raisin type of flavors out of it. So, yeah, man, you know, so yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's in the air <laughs> somewhere right there. So I think okay, this is good. I can't. Com I don't have a, a comparison for it uh, to any other rye. I mean, this one's. Fairly unique. It's lighter um, yeah. on me, and, and the bottle is incredibly tall too. Mm -hmm. So I suppose that's inspired by the tree. <laughs> that makes sense. I love the label. So uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely a strong recommend to check it out. Yep, it's interesting and it's delicious. So what more do you want? No, can't go wrong. Yep, I agree. All right. <laughs> well, here's to you. Cheers. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel. Yep. And we'll see you next time. All right. Cheers.